Welcome to our lesson about the extruded boss command. Let's start by creating a new part file. The extruded boss is a feature that adds material to a solid. In order to create this feature, it needs a 2D profile as its source. So let's start by creating a sketch. And let's do it on the top plane. Right click, sketch. Now let's activate the rectangle tool. Notice that when I cursor over the origin point, the snap symbol appears. Left click to accept that point. Left click again to create our second corner. Now right click and select to close the rectangle tool. I'm going to select these two lines and add an equal relation. Lastly, let's apply some dimensions. We'll make the side 50 millimeters. Click OK. Now we're ready to exit the sketch. Let's take an isometric view. We are already in the Features tab, so let's activate the Extruded Boss Base tool. Here's a preview. If you don't see the preview, just expand the part and then select Sketch 1 or the sketch that you've just created. Let's take a look at the Property Manager. Under Direction 1, let's specify the depth of the extrude. In order for the change to take effect, we need to click outside the Depth field. We can also grab and drag the angle right from the graphic workspace. Dragging it up and down, a ruler appears on the right-hand side. If I mouse over the ruler, dragging up and down, then I'm able to snap to the increments that are displayed on the ruler. I'm also able to extrude in the negative direction as well. When I do so, the value in the depth field in the property manager matches my movements in the graphic workspace. Click this button here to reverse the extrude direction. In the From section of the Property Manager, we've got four options to extrude from a sketch plane and other geometries such as surface, face, plane, vertex, and offset. Let's choose Offset. And here I've offset my extrude from the sketch plane by 10 millimeters. Let's go back to Sketch Plane. Under the Direction section, we've got a few options for the extrude's end condition. Blind, up to some existing geometry, such as a vertex or surface, and we're going to be looking at that in our next lesson. The option I want to show you right now is Mid-Plane. Now the extrude is created in both directions. If I grab the handle, the extrude will expand in both directions. I'm also able to create a greater extrude in one direction than another. If that's the case, we use the Direction 2 option. Check the box next to Direction 2 to make its control area visible. And now we enter the value we want for our extrude. Let's accept these changes, clicking OK in the Confirmation Corner or clicking OK in the Property Manager. In the Design tree, we see our new feature. It's called Extrude 1. There's a plus symbol next to it. Let's expand this branch of the tree. Within the Extrude branch is, of course, the sketch that was used to create it. In our case, it's Sketch 1. To make some changes, simply right-click and select Edit Sketch. Let's make this dimension 60 millimeters instead. Click OK and exit the sketch. Same thing for the extrude. Right-click, Edit. Let's change the depth of the extrusion under Direction 1. OK. I can also double-click right on the extrude in the graphic area. The dimensions become visible and I'm able to edit them right on the spot. For the edit to take effect, click outside the field. The solid in the graphic area updates immediately. Now I'm going to show you how to add a draft to this solid. Let's edit Extrude 1. Click this button to activate the Draft Angle option, and now in the field, enter a degree value. 10 degrees, click outside the field to update the model, and then right-click and select OK to accept our changes. Now when I double-click on my part, I've got one more parameter that I'm able to edit right from the graphic workspace. Let's change the draft angle to 20 degrees, click outside to update, and let's zoom to fit to get a better view of our part. Hmm, I see that the pan tool is missing from my hang-up menu. Let's right-click on the menu and select the pan tool to make it available to us. Now click outside the menu. And now we're able to pan, dragging it left and right across the screen. And this concludes our lesson about the Extruded Boss tool.